Well, thank you. Uh, I'm Joe. This is Pradeep. And uh, we are from Virtual Piggy. We're the founders of, of Virtual Piggy. Now, all of us here today have one thing in common. We, we probably have several things in common, but one of the things is that we were all born in the last century. And so was the internet. Now think back, when you were 11 years old, were you using the internet? Most of you weren't. I, I certainly wasn't. It, it came about during my working life. But the kids today, the under 18 year olds born at the, last end, at the end of the last century and the first part of this century have grown up having never not known the internet. It's always been there and your 11 year old in America today is online playing, socializing and doing what all kids love to do which is to buy things. So let's take a look at what a transactional experience would look like for an 11 year old. Let's say I'm Lauren, I'm 11 years old, I've saved my money, I've done my chores, I've got $30 to spend. So I go to my favorite site and I choose something that I want to buy. It's a little speaker and it comes in pink. I'm all excited about it, but at the last part, I get to this block. It's telling me that I have to be 18 or older to make this purchase. Now, if I had 20 or $30 in my pocket, I could walk into a bricks and mortar store and make that transaction. But as an under 18 year old, it's extremely difficult for me to make a transaction online. The example we showed you was retail, but this also applies to games. And with our friends over the road, Zynga, and a lot of the social game companies out there creating these very immersive, very fun experiences. Again, there's so much friction in the process, it's so difficult for an under 18 year old to be able to play those games. So what have we done? We've created a technology which we called Virtual Piggy. And the idea with Virtual Piggy is it's simple for a parent to set up an account for their child or children. And the parent can then determine which merchants the child can buy from, how much they can spend. But at the end, they give the child the ability to transact. So Pradeep has just taken us through here. And Pradeep, can you go down to the lower part of the screen for a moment? Here I can see my list of merchants. Now we at Virtual Piggy consider ourselves the first level of curation. We look for merchants that are family friendly, that have products that under 18s want and, and would like to have. We supply this list of merchants to the parents. The parents though are the real gatekeepers. They can determine which merchants, which games, which toys, where their children can shop. We're looking at Jacob up here. So as a parent, I've set him a monthly limit of $30. But I know Jacob really wants those Nike sneakers. <clears throat> as a parent, I don't particularly want to just keep buying him things and giving him things. So I'm setting Jacob a savings goal of $100. So now Jacob can choose to either spend his $30 a month or save some component of it or if he's supporting a particular charity, maybe it's his local school or they're trying to get a new soccer strip, he can allocate some of the funds towards that. I've also collected some information about Jacob's gender and his age, his date of birth. None of this personally identifies Jacob. So our whole technology is designed within the parameters of COPA. Um, you may or may not have heard about COPA, it's the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. Uh, some people you know, look at COPA, and I think many merchants do, and they're, they're nervous of it because it, it makes it very difficult for a merchant to transact directly with a child. But speaking as a parent, COPA is a good thing. All it's trying to do is put the parent back in control of the process. So now, if, if at the end of this, Jacob cannot transact, there's no point. So Pradeep's now gone to one of our merchants, Connex. So this is a live part of the demonstration. And Jacob's going to go ahead and choose something from the Connex site. So here you're looking at Connex. They're a wonderful American company. They make all of the products in North America, including Lincoln Logs, which is a famous one. So Jacob's going to buy this Office Depot pit crew. The other methods are there, like the proceed to checkout, which will end in not being able to complete the transaction. But Jacob's got a Virtual Piggy account. He clicks on Virtual Piggy. It asks him for his username and his password, two pieces of information that do not identify Jacob in any way to the merchant. 
The merchant, however, has to ship this. It's a physical good. We know the address of Jacob. The parent has supplied it to us. We can pass that address, the zip code information, back to the merchant, so the merchant is now able to calculate the shipping. At this point, Jacob can go ahead and complete his transaction. That was a COPA-compliant transaction, and it, we've given the merchant a way of selling to under-18s in this COPA-compliant manner. Let's take a look at Jacob's view of the world. This is Jacob's dashboard. As you imagine, we have different variants of this for different ages of kids, different skins, and we even have a pink skin for the girls. It's very stereotypical, but my little girl loves pink. So, At the top, I can see kind of where I am. Jacob spent $15 of his monthly allowance. He's got a $30 monthly allowance. He can see where he is with his savings goal. Jacob does have a charity goal. He is collecting money for his charity. As we go a little bit lower down, you can see Jacob's wish list. Now, this is very important. We have a social graph function within this, our system. So a parent can invite aunts, uncles, grandparents, friends, and relatives to view Jacob's wish list. And a little bit like a bridal registry, if an aunt buys something from that wish list, it disappears from view for the other aunts and uncles and grandparents. Okay, and the very last thing I'm going to show you today is Let's say I'm at Wonder Toys, and I'm going to log in as Lauren. Lauren is an 11-year-old girl. Because Virtual Piggy knows the information about Lauren, we know her age, we know her gender, a merchant can actually use Virtual Piggy as the first point of login, and using that information, it can direct the kind of information that Lauren is going to see. And we believe this is good for the parents, the kids, and the merchants. Thank you for your time.